Electroencephalogram, EEG. An electroencephalogram, or EEG, is a test that detects electrical activity in the brain using small electrodes. The electrical activity is displayed as wavelengths. In this example, you can see how EEG wavelengths change according to the patient's sedation status. While the BIS monitoring values require calculation and smoothing, raw EEG data provides a real-time display of the patient's brain status. Occasionally, an uncommon EEG state called burst suppression will occur. Burst suppression refers to bursts of EEG activity alternating with isoelectric, flat, or suppressed EEG, indicating very deep sedation, hypothermia, or ischemia. The BIS monitor tracks and displays suppression ratio, which is the percent of time in the last minute that the EEG signal is considered suppressed. Electromyography, EMG. Motor neurons transmit electrical signals that cause muscles to contract. An EMG uses electrodes to translate these signals into graphs, sounds, or numerical values. The BIS monitoring system detects higher than normal frequency in EMGs and depicts this as high frequency artifacts. Artifacts can be caused by muscle movement, like the clenching of jaw muscles. They can also be created by the presence of electrical equipment and devices. In the operating room and intensive care unit, surgical electrocautery, ventilators, electric warming blankets are examples of equipment and devices that can create high-frequency artifacts. When a high-frequency artifact is displayed, assess the source of the artifact and interpret the BIS monitoring value with caution. Smoothing rate. The smoothing rate is the averaging of time over a set period in order to prevent excessive fluctuations. The BIS monitoring system gives users an adjustable period of time over which artifact-free data is analyzed and used to calculate the BIS value. Typically, the time period is set between 30 seconds and 15 seconds. But to understand what is ideal for your clinical setting, please refer to the BIS operating manual. By choosing the optimal smoothing rate, you can decrease variability, decrease delay, more easily discern general case trends, increase responsiveness to state, decrease sensitivity to artifacts, better assimilate the impact in bolus administrations.